get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. Kugan Cassius with Ryan Walsh ahead of his fight this week in Denmark uh, against Dennis Seelan. How are you, Ryan? Yeah, I'm feeling really good. Cheers, thanks. Um, you had your press conference uh, a few weeks ago now. Uh, got the feel uh, of how it's going to be, how you're going to be perceived. But um, you've only fought once outside of the country, haven't you, when you fought in Tenerife. But what are you expecting from Denmark? Uh, it'll be a totally different ball game. I think Kugan... Um when I was at Tenerife, I was part of the gym that was at, it was their home show as such. So this will be um, all for him. It'll all be about him and uh, hopefully hostile. Hopefully they really want to see him kick my ass. So yeah, that'll be totally different. It's something I really want in my career. I want to be able to say I've gone to someone's backyard, done the job, come on with the belt. That's the job. That's the that's the idea. How much of Dennis Seaman have you studied or seen of in your life or recently even? Yeah, I've been studying for uh, well, since we first got his name. I had a good look at him and um, more than happy with his style, clashing with my style. I think it'll be a very good mix for p the people who are there and people on Box National watching. It'll be um, it's going to be a difficult fight. He's got he's got good experience. He's a good fighter. Um, his promoters clearly back him. They bought that they they bought they won the the first bids for it to be in his backyard. So they're giving him all the home advantages, but. The, that all means nothing in the ring. For everything you've got, all your fans, all these bits, come the, come the night, it comes down to 36 minutes of hard work and who wants it the most? You're fighting for the European featherweight title. You win this, it could really catapult you onto that world stage. Yeah, definitely. Um, the best in Europe for me. If you're the best in Europe, you can safely say you're in the top ten of all the governing bodies. It's a huge continent full of very good fighters. A lot alone right now in my division, we have two world champions who are both European. You got Lee Selby and Cal Frampton, so the two two of the best fighters on the planet, two of the title holders right now at that weight division, at nine stone, are Europeans. So if you're one of the best in Europe, you're up there. I'm assuming if you could have your, your pick from one of those two out of Selby and Frampton, it would be Lee Selby. Be no contest, yeah. There's nothing to do with stars, and that's because Lee's beat me. Simple as that. Lee knows that. I've seen Lee not long after, and um, I'm hoping he's true to his word if the opportunity does come. So. Obviously, we've spoken about this a million times before, how strong that, that weight division is, both domestically and on the world scene. But you want to get yourself amongst that? Oh, definitely. To um, anyone who comes into boxing to not want to be the best, well, they'll never, I'll never understand them. I want to be the best. I want to fight the best to prove I'm the best as well. I don't want to, I, you can, in boxing nowadays, you can be a world champion and not be the best. That is possible. It's not great, but it's, it's the truth. Um, I intend to try and beat the best to prove that more than you know there's a lot of ways to do things but and it just happens to be the best in my weight division has already beat me so what an incentive I mean we've seen great examples of our fighters going in against the very elite at their weight you've got the likes of Kel Brook and Liam Smith and Anthony Collar but this is what it's all about I mean you've got to be prepared uh, to take the loss if you have to but to fight the best definitely um, too much is put on that all it does it I can say my own personal experience, 50% of your check, you can bank on losing that through a loss, but it depends how, what, how you use it. I, I call it a learn now. I'm well past that loss stage. It's, it was a real big learn, a massive learning curve for me in my career. And by the two years waiting to make, to, to get in the opportunity again, I won't change nothing. If I could have just got the opportunity a bit quicker because I was ready then, um, I'm more than ready now. I'm much better fighting now, so is Lee as well. So I've been in that stage. I know. The lay I follow was good. We, my brother told me, I come back from that fight and he said, everything happens for a reason, but that boy will be a world champion. And he was true, he was right. He knows his boxing as well. We should have had a little bet on it, really. Um, obviously, before any of that, this week, uh, Dennis Sealand stands in your way. So how, ma how many of the farming army uh, are going to be going out to Denmark? Well, look at it, there's at least 100 going out. It's unbelievable. Um, when this fight was initially made, I thought, it's not the most exotic place in the world. It's going to be cold at that time of year, potentially because the 90 days from when it was made. But there's going to be 100 of them there. They're telling me that there, there's quite a few of them going to Sweden, then doing the ferry. So they're really making a three-day weekend out of it. And um, I 
I just can't salute them enough. I can't, I can't give them more gratitude. The only thing I can do now, everything in my power, is to, to perform, to do my, do my job. I've been training very, very hard. This has been by far the, the hardest, longest, most difficult camp, and I'm, and that's for a reason. Same because we're learning, it's, it, This is, we train hard anyway. But I think when you when you up the stakes. I expect to get the best out, that'll bring the best out of both of us because the stakes are definitely a lot higher and so they should be. That's all part of learning, improving and getting better. The stakes go higher and you should be getting better. Well, if you can't make it to Denmark, the fight is live on Box Nation this week, so uh, I'm sure everyone will be tuning in. So bring home that European title. Thank you. Cheers, Coogan. Thanks to all the fans behind me who are travelling. You've got my utmost respect and I will do my damnedest to bring that blue belt back. Thank you.